hopefully uh, fucking out. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Did you fucking see that? Fuck, that was- Hello and welcome to Pi. Uh, we're in a small hippie town on the, uh, on the northern border, northwest border of Thailand and Myanmar. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty small isolated town, but many tourists come here. So let's go check out what, uh, what Pai has to offer today. So come with me and let's have a little bit of an adventure. Let's go check it out. Oh, we can get some refreshment afterwards. If it's too much of a hike. Start at one third. Ah. Ah, let's see if we have to actually pay for this. Very weird in Thailand. You would think places like national parks or waterfalls would be free but no someone's come set up a fence around it and then just charges 200 baht for entry you have to pay for everything here but i mean and that's not a complaint like helps out the local industry at the end of the day five pounds to to go have a look at a waterfall isn't too much depends on the kind of waterfalls though Right. It's nice also, it's not that hot up here. It gets to about just under about 30, maybe a little bit over here. We're, we're still pretty high up in the mountains and at night it's actually quite a nice cool temperature compared to Bangkok or Hanoi where it's about 35, 36 degrees and it's just unbearable heat in the day. All right, looks like we're at the top. Let's get a, let's get a viewpoint. Let's see what it's like. See if it really is the Grand Canyon of Pi. Oh man, it's not too bad actually. <laughs> ah, it's a bit sketchy here actually. Definitely wouldn't want to be coming here when you're drunk. One small fall and that's you, uh, that's you tumbling down to the bottom. 
Jeez. But still just can't believe the location this little village is. In the middle of the mountains, in the middle of the jungle. Absolutely nothing around. You just see the mountains sprawling. Such a cool place. Damn. I think we're gonna go down here. Fuck, it's gonna involve uh, well, a bit of scrambling, actually. Sort of a, uh, like a chalky, chalky material. Whoa. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't wear my flip-flops for this. Wow, it's, it's pretty big. Fuck. Goes all the way to there. And come all the way out here. Down. Hopefully got the GoPro secured. I think if it drops down there, then it's a, uh, yeah, pretty limited chance of recovery. All right, let's get the drone up. Let's find out where it is. Okay. So it's about a 20 minute ride. And I guess land split is temporarily closed. Hmm. No, it doesn't look that great anyway. Let's go, let's go uh, have a look at the waterfall maybe on the way. Damn, this is a this is a great road actually. Really enjoying my time on this. I hope it's not like this all the way, but So actually Pi, uh, maybe 15 years ago, pretty much all the roads were like this. Really not very touristy, quite a, uh, well it's just a small village. Um, it's only in recent years that, uh, that a lot of money has been pumped into this town due to tourism and it's, it's a big hub for, uh, for digital nomads. Wow, we're really, uh, really going off the beaten track here. What I like though, what I like. This isn't too bad, there's just a lot of gravel so you, your back tyre slips out quite a bit. 
you see you see quite a lot of tourists walking around Thai with uh, huge bandages all over their arms and legs. I don't I don't want to join the uh, the hospital club. Oh wow, look at that. Nice lake. Don't know if I'd want to swim in it though. Ah, oh, so you can do zip, li zip lining, zip lining across the lake. Hmm. Sounds fun. The good thing about riding though, it's, uh, it's actually a lot cooler because you get the wind chill. So this is actually quite a nice temperature. It's, uh, it's just when you stop and, and don't move under the sun, that's when uh, yeah, you get pretty sweaty. The road to the bamboo bridge. No, I've got absolutely no idea what that says. Oh, well, I know what that says. Oh, man. Fuck. I hope we don't burst the tyre during that. There are loads of cool little trails. Maybe we uh, maybe we'll go explore uh, explore one of them on the way back. But it looks like they, they they just lead down to the uh, down to a river. Damn. Or maybe they're just people's houses. <laughs> So I mean the nice thing about Pai is uh, everyone's just quite chill here. Same, same in Chiang Mai as well um, compared to Bangkok you know I mean if you've ever been to Bangkok you'll you'll understand like there's a there's a scam pretty much on every single corner everyone wants your money it's very touristy and really the only good things to see in Bangkok are temples. Uh, there's, a, there's a few markets um, that are good but it, it makes the whole day unenjoyable when you have to say no to people like a hundred times uh, so it's quite refreshing when I go into Chiang Mai and people weren't wanting my money and uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't get scammed I mean at the local you know if you're buying a hat or some clothes or food yeah okay you gotta haggle a bit but it's much less and even even less here this place feels uh, feels so safe and about half the population here are either tourists or, or foreigners that are living here living here a long time so it's, it's quite a quite a weird mix actually and to be fair I was praising the roads before but uh <laughs> I mean this road isn't too too bad but it's not it's not amazing ah it looks like a lovely cafe Wow. Maybe we'll stop there on the way back. Although I know there's a lovely cafe in the uh, on the bamboo bridge as well. So we might grab some food. Grab some uh, grab some late lunch. Wow, really going into the jungle now. Surprisingly, not a busy road either. I'd have thought there'd have been a lot more tourists on this road, but um, not seen anyone so far. I think it's. Uh, I don't know if it's rice. I think the rice harvest is already complete, but it's definitely something. I don't know. It must be rice. It must be. Is it up here? Nope. Oh, it just looks like a resort. Keep going. 500 meters. 200 meters. This looks like it. Parking. No parking. Parking, no parking. Fuck, we gotta cross the river. Jeez.
สถานีวิทยุกระจายเสียงแห่งประเทศไทย radiothailand.prd.go.th หรือติดต่อได้ที่ส่วนกระจายเสียงในประเทศ Check out this uh, local time music. Sounds pretty good. Bamboo Bridge, this way. Oh, let's just follow the signs. I mean, it's a cool little area, like a little, uh, little pasture in a valley. Pasture? I don't know if pasture is the right word. Little, well, it's a valley, yeah. Let's go see. Oh, I think we might need to pay for this. That's not too bad, it's just 30. And okay, fair enough, like, they're gonna do maintenance on it. Yeah, 75p, I'll pay 75p. Maybe that's what they should do for the waterfalls, but I guess tourists still come and pay. What a lovely, relaxing place, like, look at this. So the locals building a, a new bridge over there. That's where we parked our bike. Let's chill by the river. It's like the, uh, it's like the Asian version of the Shire. I don't know how sturdy this bridge is, like... I don't think you'd want to be too heavy. Those are nice little places to have coffee as well. Wow. Yeah, cool place this. Yeah, look at that. Got a bunch of uh, probably koi. Oh, you can even buy fish food. Donate money to the food. Purchase fish for the food and school lunch for pupils. Maybe later. Ah, it's it. What's amazing about this is just it's a small little rice farming terrace village that's become a tourist attraction in the middle of the jungle. Yeah, we've got jungle there, rice pasture, jungle, jungle, jungle. Wow. Then we got a cool little temple up here. Let's let's uh, let's go check it out. Or maybe not a temple. Maybe it's just someone's house that's being built. So yeah, it's definitely, uh, I think it definitely is rice. Maybe I got the harvesting seasons wrong. But I'm pretty sure when I was leaving Vietnam a few weeks ago, they were starting to harvest the rice. But maybe different climates. Or maybe it's the second, uh, I don't know. Don't know. That's pretty much just, uh, just grown in this sort of sandy, This is where, guys, the uh, 
the rice that we eat back at home comes from. Maybe even one day, some of you will be eating rice from here in Pai. Or probably not, it probably just gets exported to China. Or more likely just eaten here. Playing the, playing the train a bit. Starting to get a bit hungry. Wow, look at that. Wow, just noticed. You can sit up on the... Ah. Fucking Instagram, eh? Fucking Instagram. But, let's go get some food. I quite like this place. I mean, I'm glad I came. It's pretty chill. A lot of tourists, but... Yeah, nice place. Let's go get some food. Hmm. Alright, we'll go there, I think. Ah, look at that view, man. I think we'll have lunch here. Well, oh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty peaceful place. We've got the river, and then we've got the whole village out there, uh, banging, making a bridge. But uh, who am I to complain? Gives good atmosphere. Oh, look at this. Red curry, 40 baht, which is just about under a pound. Pretty good. So we're fed. Let's go back. Maybe check out some of those dirt paths and uh, see where those take us. Have a bit of an adventure. And that'll probably be it for today. All right, let's go. All right, back on the road again. Oh man, look at that. <coughs> what a view. What a view. Hopefully none of that rain comes this way. But uh... We'll see. Maybe we've just missed it. Right, so here's, uh, here's one path. Do we want to brave it? Just have a look, see where uh, see where it goes. Damn, no idea. Palm Canal. Do we go a bit further? Oh fuck it, let's go down here without crashing into the bush. Fuck. Hopefully, it's not too muddy here either. Otherwise, we might get stuck. Just gonna have to go nice and slow. See where it takes us. Terrible place to get a puncture this as well. Or maybe this is just someone's house.
Oh no, it's just a field. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> okay, let's turn back. Right, adventure one, cancelled. If we can even turn around. There we go. Let's get back on it. We'll find another one. Alright, this looks like more of a path. Let's try this one then. Hopefully this one doesn't take us to a field. Oh, which way to go? Which way to go? Oh fuck, it's just, that's just a field, isn't it? It's the same fucking field. Same field, Palm Canal, right. Well, let's just follow this road. Follow this road. Hopefully, uh, fucking hell. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Did you fucking see that? Fuck, that was a cobra or something. Holy fucking moly. Jesus fucking Christ. Whoa, holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Whew. Man. Getting bitten would fucking suck. Don't know if I really want to go back that way then. Um, well, let's keep going. Let's keep going, but let's, uh, we'll go nice and slowly. Go nice and slowly and avoid the fucking snakes. Because I, quite frankly, do not want to die. Or get lifted to hospital, because I think that would suck. Just saw the, uh, or maybe it wasn't a cobra, I don't know, but it was, it was a snake and it had fucking flares. I'll have to review the footage, but it had like, uh, had the cheeks the cheeks of, uh, of a snake that looks nasty <laughs> so uh yeah when we go back up there let's uh let's really fucking keep an eye out because i don't know if they'll even have the antidote here in pie fucking hell this is muddy this is muddy Okay, well, done a bit of adventuring. Got the heart going a little bit. See if I make it out, out alive. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you for coming along. And uh, I'll catch you later for more adventures. See you guys later.